Welcome back. So the need of an extended range for driver was because every time I went to the same place, I got new new connections. So that means there were some that I missed. So firstly, for this project, you'll need some SMA connectors, some SMA cables, and you can find them in a large variety and different sizes. But in most of the cases, I go with uh, 10 centimeters because I, I wanted to have a small box which will remain portable, even if it has an increased range. So you can buy them from a lot of sellers uh, on AliExpress. They are also available in Amazon. Firstly, I try to use a uh, Yogi antenna, but even if here is stated to have 25 dbi i use this and it shows the same connections as if you were using a 3 dbi antenna i try to move it and pointing to towards the uh, neighborhood and uh, any places but the results are the same so this was not useful, so I remember that I bought this amplifier some while ago for a different project. This is a 2.4 amplifier, comes with the SMA cable and with an adapter. As you can see in this picture, so you can use only the, the cable and the jack to provide current for it. And there are multiple variants of, of this, these adapters we have for 2.4, for 5G and also different powers. So we have 4 watts and 5 watts. And also this one is stated incorrectly because this one is an 8 watts amplifier, even if it says 5 watts. So the small ones have 4 watts and the large one is 8 watts. So you, you can pick the one which will suit you the best, but I, I went with the smaller one. And since I tested and it worked, I decided to put a 5G also adapter. I was not sure if it will work or not, but I just decided to, to go ahead. He, here is stated correctly because it's 8 watts, the larger one. And it arrived a couple of weeks ago, so I started to rebuild the project and add the 5G five, five amplifier also. You can see here everything that will come into the box, so the adapter, the cable, an antenna, and also the amplifier itself. So this is how the project currently looks. It is quite portable, so it's a smaller box. I didn't want it to go much smaller because then it will be overheated but as you can see it's let's say double the the length of a normal war driver and it has the same width so it's not that large it's still portable even if you are walking so let's have a peek inside um, it has two antennas, one for two port four and one for 5G, and also the, the GPS antenna. And three switches, which you will, will see what they, they will do later on in this video. So, I have these screws which are kind of pain, but they, they were the thinner screws that I had there from a laptop case and they do the job but the thing is these grey ones grey ones are, are flat these gold ones are not so you can easily rip off your clothes if you are not paying attention so okay let's see inside basically we will have just a normal word driver two amplifiers and two battery packs and a power bank 
and I will explain in just a second how everything is connected. As you can see, I don't have much space left. So it's just the perfect amount of space that we need. It's not overheating. Everything remains under 40 degrees. So I think it's, it's just the size that we need. We, I use this for driver because I already modified it to uh, suit three antennas, one for, for 2.4, one for 5G and one for the GPS. And you can see here how I added the uh, BW16 to it. And also added an additional antenna, the external antenna to, to the module. So now let's dive in the project. So let me explain how everything is connected. Firstly, we have this SME connector that goes to the GPS antenna. I didn't have a one long enough, so I used two of them. The second one is connected to the 5G amplifier. And the last one is connected to the 2.4G amplifier. The amplifier itself or uh, let's finish with this part we have a, a, a switch here which is basically powering up the work driver so the switch takes the positive wire from the micro sd cable and goes through the power through the power bank and when you you turn the switch it basically provides uh, power from the power bank to the word driver. Then on the other side we have two switches and they are the same basically with positive wires from the, the battery holders and the, the adapter wire from the amplifier from the jack amplifier. So it provides current to the amplifiers, the antennas are detachable, so you can move it around or you can reuse the antennas or use maybe some other antennas which are higher gain. But I think these amplifiers provide like 12 or 13 dBi, which is quite enough. So I think we can do a comparison between a normal word driver and this one with the amplifiers and you can see the difference and if it's if you'll need the amplifiers or not I, I bet you you will do after you'll see the difference so if we press the first switch you can see that the power is delivered to the first amplifier it has the red LED and the second switch will provide power to the second one and if we turn on the work driver, you can see the power bank and then the work driver turning on. As you can see the amplifier also has a green LED and when it's blinking it means that it gets the signal from the SMA connector. If it's not blinking then you have a, a connectivity issues between your amplifiers and your word driver because basically the amplifier doesn't get any signal for, from the SMA. I will try to do some comparison with this word driver but it has some issues because the the wires, the jumping wires are very thin and I guess that on the breadboard now the holes are, are larger and the connection is not very secure. So sometimes it just gets an unexpected error and it resets. 
I had a video for unbreaking a port driver if you disconnect it when it tries to, to boot up. And I spoke to it Joseph and this thing should be solved on the ne next update. He already patched this issue and we are expecting the next uh, update. So here we can see on this port driver we have 6 for 2.4 and 345G and with the amplifiers we have 19 and 16 or even more. So we had 22, 2.4 and 23, 5G with the amplifiers in the same location. And for the other one, which is not using any amplifier, we have just four and seven connections, just using a regular antenna for the 2.4 and for 5G, we are using the antenna that is integrated into the module because I didn't have time to, to solder another one. But there is quite a difference here, as you can see. So yeah, you can capture uh, more, more connections. So it's still portable. It still fits in a backpack or you can uh, move it around. The only downside is that now we have more batteries to charge and we should use an external battery charger because I didn't use any uh, charging module and also we have to be careful about not just fully discharging the batteries and also these cables can get quite flimsy if you overbend them and you lose connection so you have to be really careful how much do you bend them because I, I broke some cables in the past so that is it for today i hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe for more content and see you in the next video cheers <laughs>